Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection. Well, we took care of Kirby's Dream Land and Kirby's Adventure, so next on our list is Kirby's Dream Land 2. Aww. Now, uh, I gotta say, in terms of Kirby's Dream Land 2, it's not one of the better Kirby games. Oh. I mean, it's probably the weakest one on this list, but that's the thing about Kirby. Even if the games aren't really all that interesting and you're kind of meh, they're still pretty dang good, so we'll still have fun. Okay. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and start with level one here. Which is Grassland. Oh wow, I thought it was actually gonna start up a story or something. I think there was a story, but, you know, do you really need story in a Kirby game? No. Just, hey, here's stuff, go around and do things, go for it. <laughs> So, here we are in the first level. The thing about this, uh, about Kirby's Dream Land 2 is that the level design is a little less clever and a lot more basic. Hmm. It's, uh, more of the focus comes in the gimmick for this game, and, uh, not so much in the level design, so really in the abilities, if you know what I mean. Right, so do you think that's because of the, of the Game Boy being put on the Game Boy, or do you think they just wanted to go a different route? I would say it's because of the Game Boy, because, uh, this is 1995, you've had, uh, Kirby's, Dr uh, Kirby's Dream Land and Kirby's Adventure, and, uh, probably a few other spin-offs, but the only real Kirby game that you had for the Game Boy was Kirby's Dream Land 1, mm -hmm. which you can beat in, well, you can just beat in one sitting. <laughs> exactly! I wonder how, how you figured that one out! But this has, this is far longer, actually has abilities, and has a lot more replay value, I think. So, uh, here's the end goal game. <gasps> uh, wow. Pretty simple. Huh. We'll be having some fun with that. So now uh, we've gotten introduced to the game itself. A little bit slower, it's, uh, you can't run in this game, which I always find uh... upsetting. Yeah. Any Kirby game where you can't run just kind of feels slow overall. I think, mm -hmm. I th I think that might be the problem. And there's only seven abilities in this game. <laughs> wow. Only seven. So that's one. We've seen Umbrella. Uh, what are the other ones? I'm trying to get a uh, fire guy over here. That's what you're supposed to do here. Oh. Uh, there we go. Uh, down there at the bottom, what are those stars you're collecting? Because I thought you were getting all the collectibles and then you exited a level without filling that bar, so what? what's the deal? Those are just, uh, fun collectibles. If you get seven of those stars, that is a one-up for you. Oh, okay. You can earn them, you can just find them anywhere. Sometimes they're just, uh, neat little... just, just fun things to collect. Unless if you're really crap, lives are never an issue. Well, here is the gimmick of, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Friends! This is Rick the Hamster! And while there are only seven abilities, each what? friend has their own different ability <laughs> tied to each power. Oh, cool! Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, cool! They got their own theme, they got their own gameplay mechanic, pretty much. Rick? Well, uh, he... He can't do much in this game, really. I mean, he, he can run and he can jump pretty high, but when you can fly anyway, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, in Kirby's Dream Land 3, he'll have a better purpose. Okay. So, uh, right now, we'll just kind of go through the level. Well, you got me interested so far. I mean, this is a pretty funny debut, just to see a hamster breathe fire. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed. <laughs> huh. And it just went doot. So, alright, now for the third stage. Good thing we still got Rick here. That was a good thing. That's another thing about this Kirby game. You can, uh, that that's different from, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 1. When you inhale two enemies, you can actually spit two out instead of it just being one. Oh, cool. So, a uh, bigger star. It's far more advanced than Kirby's Dream Land 1, so I'd say it was a necessity. Well, I'd like to say Kirby's Dream Land 1 was kind of like a tech demo, you know? What can we do with this with this little character in this world? He didn't even have a color. Oh, what's this, yeah, exactly. what's this place? Huh. Can't, play, uh, can't break those blocks, so... Mm. I guess we'll just have to go over here. I, well, I can't see it. Ah, here we go. 
let's get an umbrella. Oh. And then we can go back in. <laughs> was Rick balancing Kirby on top of the umbrella? Yes, he was. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That was a rainbow drop that we just picked up. Oh. There are seven levels, and there are seven rainbow drops. Another Kirby to 100%, my friend. That's, what, that's exactly what we're going to do, and, uh... This, th this game is a little bit different when it comes to 100%ing. I'll get more into that in the next episode. Right now we're just kind of getting used to a couple of the friends here and uh, getting our feet wet. But 100%ing uh, this game is a little bit strange. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I thought I misheard it the first time. The higher you get, the more of the ending theme song you get. Uh-huh, when you get full top is... Uh, oh. oh, there's Whispy... <laughs> Here's Wispy Woods. I don't know why he's all bound up like that, but let's see if he's a threat this time. Oh, I thought you were going to call him Wheezy Woods, like he's sick. <laughs> Maybe that is him. <laughs> there you go, Kirby. <laughs> there, I wanted to show off that move, at least, where he's got spiky roots, but it doesn't matter, he's still a pushover. Yeah, he's pushover. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the Rick dancing! Woohoo! Well, all right. That's, uh, level one cleared. And, uh, we got some time left. Let's go ahead and take care of level two while we're at it. Okay. This is a big forest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we gotta say goodbye to Rick here, because, uh, no. we didn't really need him. Doesn't really, uh, fit in well in the forest, you know? Hamster would do better in a grassland rather than he would, a uh, jungle. Okay, or okay. Or forest, really. I actually like this level. This is probably my fav one of my favorites in this game. Because I like the theme, I kind of like how the flow looks like graham crackers a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know, just, just, just neat. Even though there's only like four colors you can put on the Game Boy, they made, they made each level look distinct. And I'm, uh, I, I'm deeply ashamed that the Dream Collection does not have the color version. Yeah, I, th I think you were mentioning this to me off-screen, but you were pondering whether to do this game in the color version or the black-and-white version. Yeah, I figure we'll just keep it with, uh, with the Dream Collection, because it is the Dream Collection we're playing, after all. Right, right. So might as well keep it legit and black-and-white and lame and sad and dumb. Anyway! Don't play, don't play by conventional rules! You do what you want! <laughs> this is... Koo the Owl. <laughs> He is an owl. He flies. Oh, that's it? But, uh, he has better aerial maneuvering than Kirby does when he's just flying by himself. Oh, there we go. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, level two now. So, besides that tornado attack, is that in combination with Umbrella, or is that normally what he can do? That's what, that's in combination with Umbrella. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Because now he's got Cutter, and he can throw three of these, and it, you just wipe the entire screen with it. Uh, exactly! Much. That's so cool! Still can't get rid of Gordo's, but maybe that'll show up in Kirby on Switch! Oh, wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> Breaking new grounds, thanks to the Nintendo Switch. This isn't it crazy. We said that uh, Kirby should be on Switch, and then E3 happened after the oh. recording, and then he's on Switch. It's like, well, thanks, Nintendo. Now I gotta go buy your fucking stupid toy that that isn't really uh, all that sturdy and uh, still doesn't have a whole lot. Of, eh, I gotta buy it now for that in Metroid Prime Four. Yeah, they, you do. They got me. They, hand, hands up. They got me. I have no choice now. <laughs> Maybe later this year. I don't know. Maybe when it comes out, right? I'm <laughs> still uh, Kirby's actually I'm a thing. I'm still pretty sure that there's gonna be like a new Switch or a new Switch XL or something like that. A Switch DS. <laughs> I got, I got a feeling. Just I'm gonna wait for the second run. Look at that! It's a Switch, but it's also a clamshell, so you can close it up and put it in your pocket. Oh God! If only. <laughs> uh, that would, uh, that would take down a lot of the malfunctioning systems. So going back to level two here, there's a door at the bottom. Oh! 
and, and oh my gosh! Check that shit out. And the thing about this game is that you can pause and exit as well. And oh, good. We can go and check real quick that we still indeed have the rainbow drop. Nice! So that's good. Anyway, off to level three. Let's finish this. Oh, this is kind of a cool song. I like how it starts. That's Koo's theme. It's the theme how, of Koo. Okay. How many what? friends are there, by the way? There are three. We will be showing two off today. Hmm. I'll get cutter for this one. I was just wondering if there was a friend for every world, but no, just three. And then they combined them. In, what? Uh, well, not combine them, but uh, you oh. gotta use... <laughs> Oh, I, I see what you mean. Uh, two friends in the same world, something like that. Yeah, and then you got to use them all like the last level. Yeah, right now, yeah. right now, this is just introducing a the a the mechanics and b the friends themselves. And also, you notice that there are only three like levels in this world. Yeah. Well, in level four, there's four worlds. Level five, there's five. Ah, six, there's seven, look at that. Uh, uh, uh -huh. So this is just the intro, pretty much, a very long and uh, seemingly uh, hefty introduction, but still works out. And, well, I didn't mean to swallow that. This guy's taking so long. There we go. There. Ah! What the hell? What? If you've, if you've already got the friend that's in that bag, you get, uh, I think that's Gooby, I think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he heals. He uh, acts like a maximum tomato, pretty much. Oh, oh! So this is just in case you die and lose your friend. Yeah, and uh, later on that'll be a random friend. Like maybe it'll be Rick one time. It'll be it'll be Koo the next time. It'll be the third friend the next. You never know. Hmm. Keeping Mix me it guessing. Up. Gotta work with the situation you're given and the abilities you get. I, I guess. Uh, Whatever. Oh. There we go. Not bad. All right, time for the boss. Wow, already this is just flying by. Introducing Neff and Ruff. <laughs> what? The big guy is our target. Little ones Neff are and Ruff. Little, little ones we can uh, inhale and spit back at him. Oh, okay. okay. I think I will do, because you can inhale multiple ah. ones at a time. And if you have a uh, coup here, it makes it a lot easier, so you can get to it at a time. <laughs> Are you spitting his children at him? Kind of morbid when you think about it, so... Uh, it is! I don't recommend thinking about it. <laughs> don't think about your terrible sins, Kirby. It's, it's like... He has, a, he has a lot of children. That was the last one. Jeez! An entire family destroyed thanks to Kirby and Koo! Hey, they attacked me first. <laughs> I All was right. acting in self-defense, King DDD, <laughs> please! Well, I think that's enough for now. Uh, next time, we'll check out level 3 and let's play Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby's Dream Collection, blah blah, yeah, whatever, hit it. Uh -huh.